So I'm Tim Brenneman. I'm with the University of Georgia. I'm a research plant pathologist at the Coastal Plain Experiment Station in Tifton. Now today we're looking for a species of truffle that we find commonly in pecan orchards in South Georgia. Apparently pecans are one of its favorite hosts and we have a nice uh, several thousand acre pecan orchard here today and we have a dog with us. We're trying to uh, survey this orchard and find out where the truffles are and which parts of the orchard have the most. Well, the, right now we're still exploring the utility of these, but over the years we've found them periodically and would send them to chefs in different parts of the country. And invariably they have come back with a favorable response. And so it's just sort of an emerging food product that really hasn't been used very much in the past. And one of the big reasons it hasn't is just the availability because they grow underground. And that's part of the mystery of the truffle is the fact that they are underground and they're not easy to locate. Okay, a truffle is a mycorrhizal fungus, and that means that it has to grow in association with the roots of the tree. So these trees have broad spreading root systems. They have a lot of feeder roots very near the surface of the soil. And this fungus grows around the surface of those roots. And it also has very thin hyphae that grow out into the soil. And so it's a mutualistic relationship between the tree and the fungus. And so the, the, the fungus does obtain some nutrition from the tree, but it also serves as sort of an extended root system in the soil and helps to obtain minerals from the soil. And so the tree is really healthier uh, with this mycorrhizal fungus growing on the roots. And the truffle that we're collecting is basically the fruit of the fungus. Well, in this case, this fungus grows below ground. It's completely covered by soil. So there is no real good way to disseminate the seed or the spores of that fungus. So it has evolved this very strong aroma and animals can smell that and they will dig them up and eat them. And the common means of dissemination is that the animals, animals then as they forage and move to other areas, um, the, the seeds will process and move through their bodies and come out with their fecal material and that's how it moves to different areas and, and the fungus disseminates itself.